All right. Might as well get going and see see what we got. I am rather confused by Zoom these days. Sometimes it gives me the little green border around what I'm sharing, and sometimes it doesn't. Then I'm like, am I sharing my screen? Maybe that's why they added a little preview. But anyway, this is the Foundational Infrastructure Working Group meeting for the 1st of August, 2024. Um, Benjamin's here. But this is the whole party so far. Let's uh, dig into the PRs. What do I normally, I normally go right to left. Otherwise, I see the same things twice. Uh, pending merge. That's always fun. A couple reviewers. Oh, this was fast. Um, I'm hesitant to merge this, but it's probably fine. So we're changing the SSHD, I believe, client alive interval because we're trying to publish a light stem cell not the not cff but broadcom is trying to publish a light stem cell to azure which is something cloud foundry has never done uh because publishing things to azure is a nightmare including them being like your client alive interval is uh too large so we don't think this negatively impacts anything um this is the number that they want Hello. Hey, Behan. Good. It's not just uh, me and Benjamin uh, doing problematic things now. Uh, you can weigh in on this. I was thinking about that, whether it makes sense to make this with no code uh, setting. Or... Yeah. So the reason why we're trying to change it is we're trying to publish a light, Broadcom is trying to publish a light stem cell to Azure. Um, and this is a complaint that Microsoft is like, your client to life interval is too high. It's unsafe. And we're like, what are you talking about? It's already lower than the default, which is like zero, like no, no limit. So we're trying to do this so that Azure will let us publish a light stem cell, uh, mm -hmm. which is the worst process imaginable. Um, yeah. Um, I remember just being at table and table standouts are, are quite short. Uh, we had a problem with Rabbit and Q connections. Uh, yeah, and we need to keep alive every minute or so, every 60 seconds. So I, I, I'm definitely not surprised they, they want to uh, lower this. Um, and it will apply to every stem cell. This but, is for Jenny, uh, I believe. Although yes. if we do it here, we should probably do it on Noble also. Um, which yeah. I guess it's fine. It's it's a keep alive interval. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah and, uh, let's go with that. Um, and... Yeah, if it causes a problem somewhere, we can always put it back. Yes. Um, all right, we already had a couple of reviews on it because I don't know. This is urgent to somebody. So let's see. This is Jimmy Master. That is the correct place. Um, this is coming from branch that's there. All right, waiting for changes. I think it's waiting for one more review. Bayon's on there. Wait, Bayon asked for something. just waiting for that response looks like uh, uh brian uh, responded i think before that it's available yes. oh uh oh you're not supposed to talk about the secret gov cloud brian nobody there's gov and there's secret gov nobody's supposed to talk about the secret gov. <laughs> yeah, well, it I doesn't exist know. yes <laughs> secret uh but yeah, seems like Brian says the docs were good. Go ahead and merge it. I'm going to change yours to a not scary uh, red thing. Yes, uh, I can change. What this. was this? This was the 
AWS CPI, dual stack endpoint. Oh, interesting. So this is for all, this is like a create VM request. Mm, I guess so indeed. I see. So, so this just is basically enable tool stack. Yeah, let's turn it on by default. There's also a chance that like somebody's gonna make a VM with some esoteric VM type that AWS is like, that doesn't support dual stack. We'll have to do something more, but nobody knows what that is until we do it. So and I, I feel like I feel like we're behind on IPv6 since the work was started like a decade ago in Bosch. Uh, still waiting on C groups V2 work. Oh, it looks like, uh, there was something on it last week. Uh, yes. right. I pinged people. Yes. Uh, yeah, you, you can't run, you can't run anything on a Mac with Docker. I don't even know if you run BPM stuff in Docker because of the containerization, maybe with a privileged container. Uh, So it looks like that uh, the Ubuntu Novo, the normal Ubuntu Novo, EPM doesn't have issues on that one, but on uh, our stem cell. Oh, really? Wait, you mean with this change? Is that what somebody said in here? I missed that. No, this is uh, 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 the last comment. You can see the following result in passing tests on the latest GCP Ubuntu Gem and Ubuntu uh, Mobile. Huh. I thought this whole PR was about supporting Noble. <laughs> oh, it's weird to me that the last comment is here is everything fails on Noble. All right, seems like it's in flight still. It so be... who should walk into this? It looks like uh, maybe I mean, that... Aram started it. So it's weird that Aram was the last one to comment on it being like, it doesn't work. It feels like it should have involved a, a revamp of something, but I, don't, I haven't gotten very close to this. I'll ask him maybe today um, what the status of it is. Mm -hmm. Let me... Okay. Let me... Let me just leave it open. That'll remind me. Um, this one is older. June, June, June. Three weeks ago. All right, Ramon's Ramon's on vacation. Uh. No reviews yet. Looks like we were waiting, waiting for something from the original author who made it four years ago, three and a half years ago. So we might not get a response from them. Stu. That name sounds familiar, but I forget. Oh yeah, Stu. Stu was pivotal VMware at some point, but might not be anymore. So you might not care. Uh, I'll leave that one open. Well, and follow up somewhere. Probably just on the ticket. Uh, this is. A confusing set of stuff. Uh, one sec, let me see what's going on with this issue. Um, they also open an issue talking about how the interface is private. Mm -hmm. um, but like, I'm, I believe, and I've said that like that shouldn't matter. If you make a struct that has this function, it doesn't matter if the interface is public or private. Yeah, and then they were 
confused about my statement, I think. So I said it again. <laughs> but this seems unrelated, I guess, to this particular PR. Add, oh, right. This is just about adding a listen port, although we don't necessarily know. what Both PRs are from them. Is that true? That one's still a draft. Yeah, okay. They made that other one as part of that issue, but it seems like it's not necessary. But this one, yeah, still just waiting on reviews. It looks like probably not a ton of urgency on it, especially we considering the other issues. A nice gift, gift about duct typing. <laughs> <laughs> it seems like they know a lot about Go. They're like doing a lot of stuff. They're like making their own. I'm, I feel like. I don't know. Maybe they haven't dealt a lot with interfaces because we use a lot of interfaces, whereas other people, you know, yeah. interfaces are required in Go if you start testing stuff. And a lot of people are just saying, yeah, I'll integration test it. They're required if you're unit testing stuff. Mm -hmm. um, here is a big PR from Aram. Uh, I believe cleaning up on Jamie, what Ramon already cleaned up a lot of on um, Noble, maybe clean it up on Noble, just getting rid of all the conditional stuff because it, it's the Jamie branch. It probably doesn't need Xenio conditional stuff. Um, this is already in waiting on review. Yeah, there's, there's several reviewers, including me. Did we do this last week? No, Aram added everybody. Um, some feedback from Ramon, but it's just about making it sync on Noble. But yeah, that's just waiting reviews. All right, and the new stuff. This is blocked on this other PR that I've opened, right? Yes, I think. Yes, okay. So we'll leave that over there for now until that one is resolved. Stim build, uh, that one is merged. And this was about, oh, this is more the logger stuff, I think. No, no, there's nothing in here about logger at all. Restructure go packages. See if the commit messages have more detail. Not really, but uh, build. It's the MCL builder for Windows that is not used. It is used. Uh, don't don't ah. ignore any readmes that say that it's not used. Um, it's okay. used, but only currently for vSphere. Um, when it was made, there was a desire to make it also how you're supposed to build stuff in uh, the public IASs too, and that work mm. just never got finished. Uh, but maybe someday. But it is, I believe, the only way of building a Windows stem cell on vSphere. Um, okay. Because it's, yeah, it's kind of it's kind of crazy. Although it's somewhat less crazy than all the Windows stem cell builds on the public eyes, because that involves like Packer and a whole bunch of nonsense. This is, I guess, pretty sane in comparison, which is probably why it came after. It's like you you make your own Windows VM because we don't we can't give you Windows on on vSphere and then you point stim build at it and you say you say build or something there's two there's two commands i think it's build and you point it at the vm and then it basically puts the agent on there and does a bunch of stuff to make the vm look like a stim cell and then there's like package so then it takes it and basically creates the the stim cell from that um it's uh very dangerous way to build a stem cell because it lets whoever's building it do whatever they want before they turn it into a stem cell. So, yeah, let me let me let me put some of my custom software on here and tweak it, and then then the, then suddenly you're very far off the rails. But uh, the idea is not totally insane. Mm. Um, remove. Master 1x from Jamie Stimsel Pipe. This is, oh, no, this is me. This is me. I thought this was yeah. follow up to Arams. Uh, this is what we talked about last week. Yeah. Um, and Ramon was basically like why we had it this way, but acknowledges that we didn't do it much and if it makes people's lives easier. And I will definitely say, 
as we were trying to resolve the conflicts in the two branches the other day, this definitely will make people's lives easier. <laughs> oh no, it's the other one. We'll yeah. get at least one more review on it though. Ooh. Trouble. Not a lot of urgency in that one. Here's the other one I was thinking of from Aram, which is uh, because of his, well, it's blocked on the other PR anyway, I guess. So we don't really have to go into too much depth in it, but that other PR, because it cleans everything up, it means that there is no longer uh, no longer different paths. in right no longer in the stem cell builder repo is there a a stem cell a docker image with the os in it because there's different branches for everything like so this the one in there is the one for that os so you don't need the suffix on there in the path anymore so this is Presumably what Ramon was talking about in that other PR about how you'll probably have to clean up some stuff in the stem cell CI. That is what I assume this is. But uh, I guess we could add reviewers, which somebody added me already. Because it's not crazy. Probably should have just added the other people. Uh, it's fine. It's not big. All right. We can tell where we're um where we're not great as working group. It's the the reviewing of the PRs. The, the merging, the merging we're great with. Uh anybody have anything on the agenda? Um no. Uh, I was to submit an issue about DNS uh, um in this beha strange behavior that uh, we, we have discussed last week. And I started and um, my uh, browser just crashed and I lost all my text. <laughs> um, but I, I, sh I should submit that. Okay, sounds good. I was hoping it was gonna be the other thing where it's like I went to submit it and then I couldn't reproduce it and it seems to be fixed, but. Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> I, li I like it when that happens to my problems. That actually did that happen with yesterday? Oh, we were doing some virus scanner work with Clam AV on Linux, and like there was this test that uh, Clam AV you can't have it run. You have to run it as a user, and then if you're using the on access scan, which uses Linux FA notify file access notify, you have to have it exclude that that one user, um, because otherwise it comes up some infinite recursion of scanning or some nonsense, which is really unfortunate. So we had a test for make sure that if I'm root, it doesn't scan stuff showing that we are the root user. And it would fail sometimes. Sometimes when I was the root user, Clam AV would scan the thing. It would like totally find the test virus. And I was like, we exclude the root user. How How is FA notify like not working? And it turns out that FA notify is problematic because sometimes the process, if you're not telling FA notify to block access, then it just sort of lets things through and lets Clam maybe scan it after the fact. And in that case, the process that was doing something might already be gone. So it has no idea who the user was. So it was just like, if I don't see the process anymore, I'll scan it. So sometimes root things get scanned, but not always. And it was a very, <laughs> very, we actually fixed it because we got the test to pass because we were moving the file which is very fast and then we changed it to a copy and then the test started passing i'm like this doesn't make sense <laughs> move too fast all right all right so issues uh probably not a ton here but let's see it's august 1st what do we have that seems more than a week ago here's a couple waiting on a question panic 
Did we? Oh, this is VirtualBox stuff. Bosch, CreateInv. Yeah, you're doing VirtualBox stuff. Oh, this is back in May. Oh, Harem. That, now I see the lady's comment. Um, can this be closed? Uh, we'll give him another week to respond. And this is the Sox 5 one. We talked about this a little bit already. And then Noble Stem Cell stuff, which mostly seems to be in a holding pattern while Ramon is on vacation. Apparently he was doing most of this, um, other than the BPM work that I have open to ping Aram about what the next steps on that are. And yes, need to get both those both those in motion. All right, that was fast. Anybody got anything else? <laughs> All right. No. Nope. Have a good week, everybody. Thanks yeah. for coming. You Thank too. You so bye. Bye bye.